teams, the 2K Sports Network, and the National Hockey League welcome you to Philadelphia for tonight's game in the Wachovia Center. We've got some exciting NHL action here on the 2K Sports Network. I'm Bob Cole, and here with me is partner in hand, Harry Neal. We are looking forward to calling tonight's game. The Bruins have to focus on keeping the puck out of their net. Recent seasons show them allowing more goals against than most teams in the league. And now, your Philadelphia Flyers! The Bruins, a solid defensive team, primarily built around one of the best goaltenders in the NHL. Bob, they have good goaltending, you're right. But you don't want to have to ask your goalie to be your best penalty killer every game. And right now, this goalie is getting a lot of work on the penalty kill. It's too much to ask, even of the great goalies, to be on a team that has to kill too many penalties, too many nights, especially in big games. Cheevers is a goaltender with great quickness. He moved post to post, in and out, very quickly. You don't have to worry about this guy when the shot is coming high to his glove. He just keeps that big trapper wide open. And most of the time, he snares it. If he doesn't, he'll at least knock it down. It's time to get this one underway. Players moving into position in the circle. He his body trap. The best time to get him is before they get started. That's exactly what he did there. Back to the point. He's a dangerous scorer. Cashman picks up the loose puck in his own zone. And now Boston in their zone. McLeish. In the slot. Yes, save. Cheevers play stops as the goalie covers up. We often talk about defensively getting caught flat-footed. You can be a terrific defensive player, but this guy's got so much speed, he can make even the best of them look like they've got heavy feet. The face-off taken by the Bruins. Back to the point. And that save is made. He's in the slot. And Boston has the puck. The puck is cleared out. Philadelphia regains possession. And now Boston with it across the blue line. Shot. Shot wide to the left on that one. And Philadelphia over the line. Could not hit the net with that. Too far to the left. It's loose. The shot. Cheevers stops it. A great glove stop. Cheevers freezes the puck. Let's examine this save a little closer, Bob. It's almost like he knew exactly where the puck was headed before it was even shot. This is the kind of save, Harry, that doesn't make the highlight reel, but it's the kind that the coach likes to see. Anything that saved the skipper a heart attack is definitely a good thing. They're in position to start up the action. The Bruins will try to bring it up now. Centering pass. Shoots wide left on that shot. Shot wide to the left on that one. Philadelphia moving up. Boy, the save is made. It bounces off the goalie. The pass into open ice. And Philadelphia has the puck. The Bruins steal it at the point. He finds his target, zeroes in, and finishes him off. Now Philadelphia. Centered. With a glove save. He deflected that shot. Cheevers, he covers the puck and we'll have a faceoff. DuPont last year was able to pick up 42 assists for his club. Cheevers ready for the faceoff to his right. But Trillin controls the puck on defense. At center ice, Boston coming in. In the middle, the defense stops the shot attempt. I'll tell you what, Bob, this stat might end up being buried in this game sheet. But remember, this shot block came with the game tied. And now Boston in their zone. And the Bruins trying to get on the board. Philadelphia regains possession. And the fires across the line again. McLeish controlling the puck. Blocked! 
The Bruins have found themselves in a scoreless game. Nothing on the board right now out there midway in the first period. Harry, what can you say so far about the play we've seen from this team? They have not been able to get on the board yet, Bob, but you can't say it's for a lack of effort in the faceoff department. Winning the draw and gaining control of the puck will only give them continued scoring chances in the future. And now the Bruins get it back. Up the left side. McLeish. Philadelphia going in. Now at the point. Doesn't get his shot on goal. The pass missed. And the Flyers touch up icing as the call. And we're ready for the faceoff. Boston in their zone. Here come the Bruins with a chance. Taken away by Philadelphia. Boy, you don't think there's being any love poured out to the home team? Listen to this crowd chant. We talk about how you gotta believe. This home crowd believes. Fired wide left on that one. Not on goal. He centers it. Bob, is this a good hit or what? This one shook the building. And it stopped again. The defense doing its job on that last shift. Keeping out three shots on goal. A fine puck handler. And what a playmaker he is. Gets checked behind the net. The puck's loose. And the Flyers pick it up. And Boston turns it over. Over to DuPont. And the Bruins take it away. Fires! Fires just wide at that left post. Center ice. And now the Bruins with it in their own zone. Turnover, Boston. Clark pokes it away in the slot. Barber, Barber pokes it away. Wonderful play. There's not much question on this one. He really gave him a big tug from behind with the stick. Sometimes players just give a little yank on the stick to slow a guy down. But this was a major league yank. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If you're hooked from behind and lose a stride, it often means the play's over. We're left with a minute 59. He's covered and fires it hard around the boards. He shoots with a bad shot wide to the right side. McTavish. One minute remaining in the period. Wrists it. Cannot get it on goal. Wide right that time. Philadelphia looking to get on the scoreboard. It's shot. They block the shot. And the buzzer sounds. Both teams come up empty after one so far here tonight. And it's time now for the Dodge intermission. Dodge, grab life. The Flyers have found themselves in a scoreless game so far, Harry. What are they doing right out there or wrong, in your opinion? Bob, if you look at the numbers, you might think this guy hasn't been as good as the guy at the other end. But it's only because he hasn't faced as many shots. All I know is he has a save percent of 1,000. And that's good enough to keep this game scoreless. Just about ready to start the second period as the ref gets ready to drop the puck. And the faceoff is won by Philadelphia. Leach, he controls the puck along the board. Always have to watch out for him. Cheevers, he decides to hold on to the puck. The Flyers are having a tough night in the faceoff circle. It's tough to win games when your center iceman is winning only 37% of the draws. Bork gets control of the puck in his own zone. Cheevers holds on. If you're a guy capable of playing both on the power play and the penalty kill, you come out there, you have to change your mentality. And that's why I always respect guys who can play on both sides of the puck. They are true special team players. Peters, they blow the whistle as he covers the puck. Barber skating with it now in his own. Does a great move. Flyers on their first power play. Nice save.
The penalty is over. We've got both teams now at even strength. And now Boston with it across the blue line. The slot. Nice save. Peters hangs on to that. Tell me what happened on this last save, Bob. Well, Harry, it looks like he decided to pounce before he could completely prepare for the shot. A little sneak attack there, Bob? That's right, Harry. He did the unexpected by coming out of the net like that, and it allowed him to get in front of the shot and make that save. And Boston with it now. Slap shot, Zendo slot, went down on his knees and stopped the shot. The game is tied, he dropped to his knees and blocked that shot perfectly. He's got a great eye, great stick. Linsman gets pinned against the boards. He gets it. Cheevers play stops as the goalie covers up. Down to his knees, blocks the shot. Gets up and keeps moving. That's a gamer. Yeah, Harry, plays like that can be an inspiration to the rest of the team. And don't be surprised if we see a little change in momentum now. Face-off will be at the left of the net as the players get ready. It's sent up the left side, and the pass doesn't make it there. It's loose, taken away by Boston. Cheevers covers up after the shot. They're ready for the face-off. DuPont gets the loose puck between the two blue lines. Philadelphia forcing the play. Cheevers with a stick save. In the splits position, he pulls off the stick save. Now here he uses all the weapons, Bob. The goalie goes down and does the splits and then makes a great stick save. He has down low covered, but his movement is severely limited. So in this case, he's got to reach out and make that stick save, Harry. Oh man, Coley, that's great stuff. He misses the pass. And he shoots. Peters with a stop. He blocked off the left side there. This is a breakaway save, and it's a thing of beauty. We're going to roll a take back, Bob, and look how he gets this with a stick. Great balance and body position, Harry, to be able to get that stick on the puck. Another face-off about to commence here shortly. Back to the point. It's shot, shoots it off his own teammate. Another chance, blocked again. The pass is missed. And the fire's taken away. Turnover, Philadelphia. The puck played up center. Is coming in now as they bring out the scoring line. Now Boston into the zone, to the point. Morrison, he shoots. He gets that save made. Anytime you can knock a guy off his skates, you know he's out of the play and he's harmless. The goal stick to the rescue, knocks that away. He shoots, shoots wide right. Cheaters and the goalie covers up to stop the play. And a strong hit lays him out right on the ice. A strong hit, and I think the guy that hit him was saying something afterwards. He was saying, when you get up, I'm going to do it again, big fella. Cheevers camps out of the left side of the goal. Cashman gains possession in the defensive zone. Boston looking for their first goal. Holding him up along the boards. Taken away by Boston. Gardner along the boards with the... It's saved. A goalie saying, I want my body in front of this shot. And he got it right where he wanted it. In the body, off the wrister. Good positioning on this play. We'll see it on the replay, Bob. He made the save with his body and really didn't have to move that much. Goaltenders sometimes get their positioning by using strings at practice that they connect to the post. It looks like he was in the right position. That's exactly what you want to do. Nice stop. Shoots. 
blocked, centered, he gets it, Peters, and he covers up. This goalie leads shooters talking to themselves. You look up high, you think you've got him beaten to the glove side. Then bang, he sticks that big glove out to make the stop. Peters gets set to defend as they face off to his right. To the point, Park has the puck. The pass went nowhere behind the net. Peters covers up. Skating ability is obviously a huge part of the game. But this guy's teammates will tell you that the best part of his skating is his balance. He never seems to get knocked down. Leach. There it is. Philadelphia on the move. He gets caught offside. You know, coaches want balance, and sometimes it's easier to find checking forwards than it is to find offensive guys. When you have a player with this offensive mindset on the bench, and you're the coach, it's a very secure feeling. At center ice. In front. And now Philadelphia in their own zone. And the Bruins across the blue line again. And it's saved to the point. He's got it at the point. Shot. Cheevers makes the save. We've still got a tie game. It's out in the middle. Bork with the puck. A minute 56 remaining. Leach takes it up through the zone. Less than two minutes left in the period. DuPont out at the point. It's intercepted. This line. He makes the stop. The point. And now the Bruins with it in their own zone. It's picked off. Shoots from the defensive zone. It's a goalie battle here tonight for sure. And as we end the second period of play, no one able to get a shot into the back of the net so far. Once again, with period two of hockey completed, it's time for the Dodge Intermission Report. The Flyers tonight have a defensive battle underway. It's period three with no one on the board yet. Who will break the dry spell? What's been the story here for this team tonight? They've had their chances with the extra men out there tonight, but they're still stuck with a zero on the scoreboard. They need to do a better job of capitalizing on their opponent's mistakes if they want to win this game. DuPont grabs the puck in the neutral zone. When you step up, you have to make sure you get a piece of your opponent. He got all of them. Centering pass. He gets it. Peters, and they blow the whistle as the goalie covers up. Peters races for the faceoff near his goal. Leach gets control of the puck in his own zone. Shoots, shoots just shy of the left goal post. Cheevers covers the puck. Foster has given the opposition something to think about defensively. Seven body checks, he's totaled. Cheevers in net, ready for the faceoff to his left. Watson is at the point, controlling the puck. And now Boston in their zone. Brooms, here we go. Watson skating with it now in his own zone. He rips it. His shot almost hits the left goalpost. And the Bruins pick it up. And now the Flyers will try to bring it in again. Clark. McTavish controls the puck on defense. Wesley skating with it now in his own. Turnover, Bruins. Peters, he covers it up. And we've got the face-off. Skaters in position. Lindsman gets possession of the puck. To the middle. And Boston has the puck. Slap shot. It stopped. The shot deflects off the goalie. Peters holds on. 
Here's a replay, Bob, of that awesome save. He denies a big scoring opportunity here. Amazing stop, Harry. That's one opportunity taken away by great goaltending. A beautiful stop. Peters will brace himself for the puck drop, which is to his right side. And now the Bruins grab it. He feeds it up center. Across the blue line. And he shoots. He comes away with a save. Has it at the point. Back to the point. Now in the slot. He makes that stop. Cheevers, he covers the puck. Okay, so you've got a guy ready to fire on net. It's a high-risk situation. Time to use that big blocker. Uh-huh, and he didn't have much time to think on that one. That puck was flying toward the open net until he knocked it out with his blocker. A great stop. Cheevers doesn't want to leave a hole near the post as he protects the left side of the net. And Boston over the line. Hit a shot. Peters, well saved, and he made it look easy. Peters decides to hang on to it. Glove stop. He's flashing leather to wipe away this goal. Let's check that one out again, Bob. Oh, my. What reflexes to snatch the puck. These are the kind of saves that can save a hockey game. Awesome quickness right there. At the point. Out of the corner. Morrison has got the puck. The Flyers playing some kind of defensive brand of hockey tonight, let me tell you. No action on the board. Not much to look at for assists or goals. What's the story been like for this team, aside from lack of scoring, Harry? They've had their chances with the extra men out there tonight, but they're still stuck with a zero on the scoreboard. They need to do a better job of capitalizing on their opponent's mistakes if they want to win this game. Center ice. Fed out from the corner. Leach picks up the loose puck in his own zone. The wrist shot just left of the goalpost. The pass is missed. Bruins coming in. In front. And now Philadelphia in their own zone. It's in the middle. Stops the shot. He committed to the shooter, but still makes that stick save. Peters covers up and freezes the puck. The officials got the puck in hand, and he's ready to start things up again. Boston grabs it, pokes it away, and Philadelphia has the puck. Leach. Back to the point. He centers it. The backhand shot. I don't think he could have gotten there if he hadn't done the splits. He made the save with a stick. Fires. Peters stops that shot going top right. Now here he uses all the weapons, Bob. The goalie goes down and does the splits and then makes a great stick save. He has down low covered, but his movement is severely limited. So in this case, he's got to reach out and make that stick save, Harry. Oh man, Coley, that's great stuff. And it looks like they're ready to get things going again. Back to the point. Bork has the puck at the point. He centers it, and a save is made. Foster. Foster pulls him along the board. Directed out center. McLeish. In the slot. And he shoots. His shot sails just past the right post. Taken across the blue line by the Bruins. It's shot. It's blocked. Now Philadelphia's got it. It's poke checked. And it's picked up by Boston. To the point. In the slot. Leach. Now Boston's got it. And the Bruins trying to get on the board. Centering pass. It's ripped. His shot barely misses that left goalpost. Peters plays stops as he covers the puck. Peters in net ready to protect that right side of the net on the faceoff. And now the Bruins grab it. At center. Two minutes left in the period. And the Flyers are bringing it up. 
What a save! Oh, my! The Flyers could have had the game winner right there. And we're going to start up action again. And now the Bruins with it in their own zone. Bruins, here we go. Shot! Peters stops the wrister with his glove. An absolutely tremendous save, Coley, on that breakaway. Talk about being the last line of defense. Yep, he got his glove on it and kept it out of the net. Not an easy play to make. He's going to get a few pats on the back for that one during the intermission. You can count on that. Peters camps out at the left side of the goal. A minute and two seconds to go. Through the zone. Under a minute to go in the period. Peters holding down the fort in this tie game. This shooter has to be talking to himself. I thought he made a pretty good move, but he got stoned on the play by that body save. Now it's time, folks, for the third period intermission report. Brought to you by to Dodge. Hello, Grab life. Exciting three. hockey here tonight. The Flyers have overtime hockey coming up. How do you see, Harry, their performance here tonight? Bob, it's all about discipline for these guys. And what more important time of the game to have terrific discipline than overtime? I don't think there's a more important time. If the overtime period is approached with the same discipline, these guys have played all night. They should have a great chance of winning. And here we go with the OT period. They couldn't decide a winner in regulation. This game turning out to be an interesting one. The puck is hit up the left side. Overtime. Sudden death hockey. And can't count that one as a great save as it ricochets away off the goalie. Peters and the goalie covers up to stop the play. A great shot in this replay, Bob, but somehow the goalie manages to get in the way of it. He came from nowhere, Harry, sticking his frame right in the middle of the shot. There was daylight, and then it was gone. You're right, all kinds of daylight. It's time to get this game going again. Here's the drop of the puck. And the Flyers searching for their first goal. Oh, and there they go. The Flyers are moving. He shoots. He got this one with his goal stick. He was in the standing position and was able to make the save. Uses the poke check. Bruins, here we go. DuPont gains possession in the defensive zone. And the Bruins take it away. Cashman. Now Boston. He dumps it back. Cashman, the puck's loose. And now the Flyers grab it. Shot wide to the left on that one. He's got the puck in his own zone. Oh, and there they go, the Bruins in the rush. He gets it. Peters hangs on to the puck. The skaters look ready. To the point. Up the left side. It's shot. He makes the save. Fires tied here in Philadelphia. Peters plays stops as the goalie covers up. Right post to the rescue in overtime, Bob. The goalie must have had a little talk with the post during the third period intermission. This is a huge overtime chance to put it away. The shot just shy of squeezing in the right side of the net. And Philadelphia has the puck. It's picked off. Boston needs to get set up again. Shot. His shot too far to the left. It's ripped. What a save. Oh, my. The Flyers could have had the game winner right there. Now Philadelphia and Boston has the puck. Turnover, Bruins. Taken away by Boston. Overtime. Sudden death hockey. And can Boston get the game winner? 
We'll see. Off a player and up off the glass. And he fires it. The save is made. It bounces off the goalie. Here come the Bruins with a chance. A wrist shot. He gets it. Peters freezes the puck. Bob, as we look at this replay, I guess we'd have to call this a long shot in more ways than one. Did he really have a chance of scoring on that one? Harry, I don't think so. No matter how hard you shoot from that range, the goaltender has time to react. And this is what it comes down to tonight, folks. No easy victory for these clubs. The next goal wins it. This is overtime hockey here on the 2K Sports Network. He misses the pass. Center ice. The center. And the shot. Peters stops it. He was ready with a stick. And the Bruins take it away. To Wesley. Sent to the center. Fires coming in. Shoots. Shoots. Wide left on that shot. Oh, and a chance for Boston now. It's shot. Peters stops it, going low left side. Nothing doing there. Philadelphia loses it. Barber getting held up along the boards. Over to Park. The next goal wins the game, folks. The Flyers fans want this victory. You can hear them. Picked off. Leach in now his shift in as they get fresh forwards out there. To the middle. Peters stops it coming from the right side. Peters and he covers up. This is an incredible save, Bob. He squared up here to give himself the optimal range of movement needed to get his glove on that puck. That was a definite goal without the anticipation. It would have been. That's some very aware goaltending to make that glove save. McLeish. And the pass doesn't make it there. Leach disrupts the feed up that left side. Nice save. Cheevers hangs on. On this save, the goalie did not have much to do. Look here, Bob. He just knocks it away with a skate. Yeah, Harry, sometimes the offense just wants the shot on goal, just in case the goalie's not paying attention. Just in case, always nice to try, but this time the goalie was ready. And Philadelphia gets possession. Centered. That shot hit the post. The puck went off the post, then off the glass. Two minutes left in the period. Peters, he covers it up. And here it is again. The goalie got lucky on that shot as it hit high on the goal post. Yeah, Harry, this one hit the post, and the goalie's happy about that. It got by him, but didn't go in. Well, that's why the goal post, I mean the goalies, get paid big bucks. The goalie was dancing with lady luck on that shot. Philadelphia forcing the play. He shoots. The shot sails just past the right side of the net. Cheevers covers up and freezes the puck. And it looks like they're ready to get things going again. The clock shows a minute eight. One minute remaining in the period. Brings it up through the zone. We're down under a minute left to the point. The Bruins steal it. And he gets called for the offside. And it's time to get the action skirted up again. Boston off the faceoff. Cashman, and it's taken along the boards. The score is still tied as we will be going into another overtime period. Lots of defense in that last overtime period as we present the Dodge Overtime Intermission Report. Dodge, Rob White, you've got to love this hockey game tonight here on 2K Sports. The Flyers have forced another overtime. No goal still, and this game is turning into quite a match. Harry, what do you have to say about the performance of the last overtime period? Well, if you could get a win for staying out of the penalty box, these guys would have already won this hockey game. 
If you check out their penalty minute numbers, they've been more the disciplined team in this game. And their coach is saying right now, let's not change a thing in the fourth period. The pass missed. He makes that stop. Peters, and they blow the whistle as the goalie covers up. Peters races for the faceoff near his goal. And now the Flyers with it. The next goal wins the game, folks. The Flyers fans want this victory. You can hear them. He deeks. Boston still trying to get something going. And they go offside. Man, Harry, it's been pretty intense out there all night. I think this stoppage has given each of us a chance to catch our breath after that great sequence. We're already in the second overtime, and there's no immediate end in sight. In front. To the point. He's got that puck at the point. No luck on that pass. And the Flyers pick it up. Turned over by Philadelphia. McNabb. Shot. The puck is stopped. Oh, what a poke check to break up that play. Here it is. Philadelphia on the move. It's blocked. Short of the goal. It's picked off. And the Bruins get the puck back. It's loose. The slot. Centered. It's picked off. Peters decides to hang on to it. Peters protecting the left side of the net. And now Philadelphia in their own zone. At the point. In the slot. Wesley controls the puck on defense. Now Philadelphia. The puck is loose. In the slot. And the Bruins take it away. Overtime, sudden death hockey, and can Boston get the game winner? We'll see. Oh, a chance for Philadelphia now. Tipped and a save. Cheevers, he decides to hold on to the puck. The skater's ready now for the official to drop the puck. And the Bruins pick it up. McTavish and Boston over the line. It's hit out in deep and Philadelphia has the puck stolen by Boston past the blue line he shoots shot wide to the right on that one Bruins can't hang on to it Boston is able to grab it the slot to the point centering pass in the middle and the shot saved off the skate of the goalie Peters covers the puck. On this save, the goalie did not have much to do. Look here, Bob. He just knocks it away with a skate. Yeah, Harry, sometimes the offense just wants the shot on goal, just in case the goalie's not paying attention. Just in case, always nice to try, but this time the goalie was ready. And now we're going to have a face-off to the left side of the net. Back to the point. Now at the point. Now Philadelphia's got it. At center. It's sent up the left side. The Bruins on the move. Out front, the wrist shot. Peters poke checks the puck away. That puck is free game. It's in the slot. Cashman controls the puck on defense. And now Boston with it across the blue line. Deflected off the defense. Peters shuts down that play with a poke check. The pass into open ice. Foster. Passed up center. Nice stick handling. Wounds coming in. Peters, he covers the puck. Face-off coming up, ready to get the action started. Bork gets possession of the loose puck. It's shot. He comes away with a save. Could get off another. 
And the save is made. Peters holds on. Peters prepares to protect the left side of the goal. And here's Boston off the draw. He's got it at the point. McTavish with the puck. Peters, he covers the puck and will have a faceoff. And we're ready for the faceoff. And Boston picks it up to the point. Nobody there. Taken away by Philadelphia. And now Philadelphia at center ice. Burns picked off. Intercepted at center ice. Cheevers freezes the puck. And the faceoffs coming up. Two minutes left in the period. And Philadelphia has it at center. The next goal wins the game, folks. The Flyers fans want this victory. You can hear them. To the point. Shoots. Great save. That could have saved this game. This Flyers crowd just about coming on glued. Cheevers positions himself on the left side of the net, waiting for the faceoff. Philadelphia grabs it. Watson at the point. It's shot. And that save is made. Cheevers, another save. Bob, it doesn't get any tougher than that. Overtime, and he drops to his knees to block the shot. Philadelphia loses it. And there's the horn. The score still tied. And we'll have another overtime period right after the intermission. And now we bring you the Dodge Overtime Intermission Report. Excitement palpable in this building as we move on to the next overtime. Dodge, grab life. The Flyers are going again into another overtime period, Harry. And looking back at their last scoreless period of post-regulation play, what did you see sticking out at you, if anything? Bob, it's all about discipline for these guys. And what more important time of the game to have terrific discipline than overtime? I don't think there's a more important time. If the overtime period is approached with the same discipline, these guys have played all night. They should have a great chance of winning. And the neutral zone, the Bruins with it. McLeish tips the puck. In the defensive zone now. The linesman blows the whistle for offside. They're ready now for the puck drop. And the Flyers searching for their first goal. And it's picked up by Boston. To the point. Bork controls the puck out of the point. He gets it. Peters hangs on to that. Peters gets set to defend as they face off to his right. Now Philadelphia's got it. The next goal wins the game, folks. The Flyers fans want this victory. Goal! Oh, what a victory here in overtime. They have won it at home. You can almost feel it coming. It had to happen sometime. We went to OT to end the game. And that will conclude tonight's exciting matchup. The final score is one to nothing.
For Harry Neal, I'm Bob Cole, and that's going to do it for our action here tonight in the National Hockey League Exhibition Game. Regular season's not far away now, and you'll see it all on the 2K Sports Network. For now, good night, everybody.